What's up everybody? CL Liquid here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Cyanogen Mod CM13, just released for the ZTE Axon 7. So as I mentioned, this was just released literally last night. Um, I just installed this um, probably around 1 a.m. last night. So I've been playing around with it most of today. Uh, it's three in the afternoon here, so I've been playing with it uh, through the morning most of the day. Um, uh, they actually had a CM13 um, ROM that was released, I guess, a week ago. But there were some bugs in it, which the audio didn't work and GPS didn't work. So obviously it wasn't ready to go. But just last night, they fixed the audio issue, GPS issue, and we're ready to go. Now there's one or two things that still aren't working, but they were working in a previous build. So those things I'm sure will be patched up and fixed in the next day or so. I, could, I would imagine since they were working before, it shouldn't be too hard to get them working again uh, so shout out to everyone that worked on this ROM um, I don't remember the exact names but I'll leave a link down in the description to link you to this ROM in the uh, XDA forms um, anyway so let's jump into it like I said this is CM13 as you can see it is 6.01 this is the ZTE A2017U version. Uh, there you see the Cyanogen Mod version there. This is the unofficial version. Um, it's got the November 5th Android security patches and blah, 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 the rest of that stuff, which I'm sure you don't care about. Build date, as you see, Saturday. Like I said, this just got released yesterday. Just want to show you that first so you know that I'm actually using this phone. Um, Wi-Fi is working. I'm connected right now to my home Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is working. It's turned off at the moment, but it's working. There was connected. Um, let's see, the cell service is fine. I'm getting calls. I've made calls. Uh, GPS on high accuracy is working. I'm able to get a lock like immediately. Um, you have audio effects on here for equalizers. That's working fine. You can edit the tiles here, of course. Add things in, take things out. Uh, you do have themes. I'll show you that here in just a second. But anyway, all that's working. The only thing I couldn't find in here was NFC. I don't see NFC setting in here. Um, I checked under tethering just in case it was under something different, but I could not find NFC, so I don't know about that one. Um, I personally don't use NFC really at all, so I'm not that worried about it, but I did notice that was missing sounds. All your sounds are working. I'm not going to do that because it'll be loud but they are working um, as you can see you have your CM13 options and some of this stuff like launch music app jump back out uh, display and lights you have adaptive brightness that works live display I have that turned off that's just me you can turn that on but it does work um, Rotation, double tap to wake, it does work. Um, like the first time I booted into it and turned this on, I had to turn it off and turn it back on and then start working. Some people said they rebooted their phone and it worked from then on out. So just keep that in mind. Uh, double tap to sleep does work. This high touch sensitivity increases touch screen sensitivity so it can be used while wearing gloves. Uh, turned that on and it just made everything like too super sensitive. So I ended up turning it back off, but that's there. If winter time rolls around, you decide you want to use that. I'm sure it'll help. Um, wake unplug, blah, blah, blah. Wallpapers, expanded desktop. 
Um, I don't really use any of this stuff, but you can see that's working. Daydream, don't use that. You can change the LCC, LCD density. Um, I dropped it down to 560 when I was just playing around and it did work and I just took it back to default. So that's working. I didn't try any higher ones because, I mean, I don't know why you would go any higher unless you're just having trouble seeing um, font size, usual stuff, show search bar in recent, battery light, all that good stuff. You can change those options. You know, usual science and mod type options. Like I said, themes are working. I actually have themes applied now. Uh, if you go into customize, I have, you can change the icons, fonts, you know, default status bar, navigation, controls, you know, sounds, all that stuff, even your boot animation. I don't think I messed with that. So I just changed that. Um, I am actually running a theme right now for pixel, pixel theme. If you notice my icons on the desktop were round, that's because of that. Um, notifications, got your heads up, settings, uh, show content when the device is locked. I mean, all this stuff is um, normal. Lock screen, screen lock, patterns, fingerprints. You see, I got four fingerprints set up, so the fingerprint scanner is working on this. Smart lock is working. Uh, live lock screen works. Um, lock screen message, display the visualizer on the lock screen, which when you're playing music, it just dances around like an equalizer display, show weather, all that good stuff's working. Buttons, enable on-screen nav buttons. If you're a ZT Axon 7 owner, you've probably been waiting for this. If you're anything like me, this is the one feature that I wanted, and I've been waiting for custom ROMs to be released. So I could get my on-screen buttons back because if you're on the ZT Axon 7, that is one of the biggest things that drives you crazy are the capacitive buttons. I don't know what ZTE was thinking with those buttons, but it's insane. So I love this ROM just for the fact that I now have the on-screen nav bar buttons. Um, left hand mode, show arrow, power menu, end call, pressing power button, you know, Again, CM13 options that you would normally see. Playback controls. When screen is off, you can long press the volume buttons to switch tracks, which is nice when you're at the gym or whatever. Uh, let's see what we got next. Battery, nothing special in there. Usual stuff, you can click on there and uh, just shows you what's using the most. Uh, obviously the screen. Uh, security again this is all normal stuff works fine memory you can go in here and change this to day view to see how much you're using in the entire day or you no know, three hours use memory used by apps you can see the Android OS is using quite a bit but that's all normal to users. I'm not gonna go in there, home. Like I said, I have Action Launcher 3 installed. I'm using Google Now Launch right now. Um, system profiles, you have status bar settings. These are your usual CM13 or CyanogenMod options that you see where you can turn on and off what's displayed in the status bar, the icons. I like, uh, can turn off Wi-Fi, you see the Wi-Fi icon up there disappeared, and turn it back on. So if you want to get rid of clutter up there, I have my clock centered. So you can adjust that. You can actually hide it so you don't see the clock at all. Um, battery status, I have it or set to text. So that's working. Love to see that percentage of the battery brightness control. You can slide across the top to adjust your brightness if you want. 
up and down. Not really too interested in that. Um, show notification count. So instead of it loading up all your icons across the top, you can set this and it just shows you how many you have pending. Quick pull down from the right, which brings down the entire bar. Or if you do it from the left, you only get it to there. But if you do it on the right, it brings down the entire bar. Um, it's your account, Google, you got your, set your Google now. You know, do your okay Google stuff in here. Uh, the usual location, like I said, the GPS is working. Uh, you can set weather to show up, add a pr weather provider. Uh, the rest of this is normal stuff. If you go into developer options, you can turn on advanced reboot, which if you hold down the power button, uh, you have your options when you hit reboot. So you have reboot, soft reboot recovery, and bootloader.